Teachers and educators typically join the education profession because they want to work with young people and they want to make a difference. They get joy out of the creativity of teaching. Unfortunately, the enjoyment of the profession is often diminished due to poor work environment, lack of respect, and overwhelming stress. A survey conducted a few years ago showed that 73% of teachers have considered leaving the profession, mostly due to workload. More than 54% said that they did not think they'd be teaching in 10 years time. And almost a quarter imagined they'd move on in half that time. And all those statistics were before the pandemic. Imagine how many more teachers are considering leaving the profession due to the coronavirus outbreak. A survey conducted May 2020 surveyed almost 2,000 teachers and educators. Two thirds say they're concerned about the health implication of resuming in-person instruction. And some say the virus outbreak and its dramatic effects on schooling has increased the likelihood that they will leave the classroom altogether. If you are one of those teachers or educators who is making the tough choice between staying or going, I have great news for you. There's a career option just waiting for you. Like as soon as you're done watching this video, you can click and be on your way to the next step. You can become a virtual assistant. In this video, I'll share with you why teachers and educators make fabulous virtual assistants. And I'll share the top five services they can perform as VAs. Let's start with why I recommend this career path for you as a teacher or educator. It fulfills your desire to make a difference and to experience joy and creativity. Teachers and educators are incredibly successful as virtual assistants. I know because I've personally trained many teachers who have gone on to become successful VAs. And you can replace your entire income working from home or anywhere you'd like as a VA. Why are teachers and educators like you so successful as VAs? You are able to command a classroom with multiple individual personalities and lead them through learning collectively. You also do not forget that each have strengths, each have areas they need to improve on. You are a serious taskmaster and timekeeper, always operating off a schedule. You know when this class or subject ends and another begins. You keep track of which assignment is due, when, and how you're gonna get your curriculum planning and grading accomplished. Above all else, VAs need to be able to balance having multiple clients they work with at one time. Each individual client also needs to feel like they're the center of that VA's universe. Who better than a teacher who already knows what it's like to juggle the needs of multiple people at one time. Add to that your amazing communication, public speaking, and planning skills, and you've got a VA who can easily support business owners. Business owners need help in planning and developing courses, presentations, trainings, and workshops that deliver great content to their audience. So here are five services that educators and teachers could offer as a virtual assistant. Number one, writing articles, blog posts, social media content, email campaigns, and hey, video scripts like this one. There is a never ending need for new content. Number two, proofreading editing and repurposing content, just like that list I just read off. Number three, presentations and curriculum development. Number four, course and training creation and auditing. And number five, training teams. That could include current teams, it could include new freelancers and new employees. If you're at a point where you're rethinking life as a teacher, or educator and wondering what to do next or how you can leverage all the years of experience you have into something that pays well, become a virtual assistant. If you're nodding, then your next step on this path is to sign up for my five day training, create a virtual career in the new economy. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel, click like, and leave me a comment below. Which of those types of services 
do you think you'd enjoy doing as a virtual assistant?